Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome you all to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is April 24, Saturday of the third week of Easter. But before we start the Mass, I would like to invite you to pray with us the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. Grace has received by recitation of the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy. Our Lord said to the servant of God, Saint Faustina, unceasingly, Recite this chaplet that I have taught you. Whoever will recite it will receive great mercy at the hour of death. Priests will recommend it to sinners on a last hope of salvation. Even the most hardened sinner, if he recites this chaplet even once, will receive grace from my infinite mercy. Oh, what great graces I will grant souls who will receive this chaplet. By means of it, you can ask and obtain anything if what you ask for will be compatible with my will. I want the whole world to know my infinite mercy. I want to give unimaginable graces to those who trust in my mercy. We are gathered in the name of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushes forth for souls and an ocean of mercy open up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O, o blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I, I believe, believe in God, God the, the Father Almighty, Almighty creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, 
our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, 
look kindly upon us and increase your mercy on us that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Prayer for Divine Mercy O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Glorious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you, we implore you, anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at the hour of death. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may, with confidence, as your children, await your final coming, that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope. Through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Marami salamat, Brother Oji Perez, our prayer partner for today. So, kung po kayo maalis, diretso na po tayo sa ating misa. and Nanay Medi Sandoval and Henry and Carrie Dizon and family. We bring to God the special intentions of all the members of the PGG service team, all the coordinators, speakers, and participants of the Live Christ, Share Christ program which will be held today. Amy Alcaide, Herta Nidermeyer, Marvin Sarmiento and family, Earl Montelibano, and Rachel Salonga. We continue to pray for the complete healing of Rachel Ann Valino Sumpit, Virginia Santos Navarro, Andrew San Venaventura, Malu Navarro, Liza Manalo, Rosita Villanueva, Robin Jimenez, Candy San Juan, Susan Buendia, and Roman Castuba. We remember our beloved dead, Conrado, who died three days ago, Diodora, five days ago, Emmanuel, five days ago, Demetria, seven days ago, Illuminada, seven days ago, Leonarda, eight days ago, and Incarnacion, nine days ago. May they all rest in peace. Dear brothers and sisters, once there was peace, the Church of the Risen Lord continued to grow throughout the Holy Land. Under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, Peter continues the mission of Jesus. He speaks, he heals, he raises to life. In the Gospel, many disciples are disappointed with Jesus. They had expected another kind of Messiah, one who led his disciples, not one who served them and would give them his flesh to eat. How could he do that anyway? Many people, including a good number of his disciples, turned away from Jesus. Those who stay are perhaps not too sure what to think and do. So Jesus confronts the apostles. What about you? Peter answers, Lord, to whom shall we go? Yes, to whom shall we go? Let us not put ourselves in the presence of God who will be coming to us in his word and in his body and blood. Our entrance antiphon. You have been buried with Christ in baptism, through which you also rose again by faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Alleluia. We are gathered in the name of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. And we ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Faithful God of the covenant, in the daily choices we have to make, give us the courage to opt always for your son and his ways and to remain close to him. Bless the difficult road we sometimes have to take without seeing where it will lead us. Keep us from making half-hearted decisions when our faith is rather weak and make us accept all the consequences of our choices. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once, and all the inhabitants of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple named Tabitha, which translated is Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now, during those days, she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him with a request. Please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs, where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out and kneeled down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up. And when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How, How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How, How shall I make a return to the Lord? for all the good he has done for me. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. 
How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? May we all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But, this, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to live? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe, and you are, we are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel reading is directly the continuation from yesterday when there are some um, arguments among the members listening to Jesus among his disciples about this teaching of Jesus of eating his flesh and drinking his blood. And yesterday we told you some of the background for this. They are still, of course, under the influence of their education, of their formation, what, they, what was handed over to them by the ancestors about such kind of beliefs. That blood, in the first place, is something that can make the person impure. And so it should not be touched. But Jesus is directly the opposite teaching about it. No? Drink my blood, eat my body. And then today, yeah, disciples are saying, this saying is very hard. Who can accept it? Who can accept it? Of course, if the one that is still in, in, um, in the process of and, uh, going into the heart of the person is what they have believed in before, um, the one that they have learned, if that is the one still that is uh, in, in um, operation in, uh, in, in them, then it will really be very difficult to accept this. No? But Jesus did not change his, his uh, teaching. No? Maybe, yeah, sabi ko nga kanina, if we have to follow Jesus, then we have to follow the whole of Jesus. If we are to obey his commandments, then all of his commandments must be obeyed. Hindi yung pipili ka lang kung alin yung maganda, pipili ka lang kung alin yung comfortable, no? pipili ka lang sa batas niya na masarap pakinggan. But there are some, like this one, very difficult for some people, for some listeners to, to understand and to accept. But with the eyes of faith, we should be, as I've said, if we are really, truly disciples of Jesus, we should accept the whole of Jesus. Hindi lang, hindi lang sekta-sekta, no? hindi lang parte-parte, kundi the whole of Jesus. And so, as a result of this, sabi dito, many of his disciples returned to their former ways of life and no longer walked with Jesus. I can imagine the feeling of Jesus being left by the disciples now probably who has been with him from the very beginning. And they're simply living away because they cannot accept this teaching of Jesus. They will not walk anymore with him. And they return to their former way of life, to their former way of thinking, to the former way of looking at things. They abandon Jesus. The Catholic Church did not. <laughs> we are the ones who are still at this moment really walking with Jesus. And in the Eucharist, the Eucharist we have given in the church a really a central uh, place in our faith. The, the peak and the summit of the Christian living. We, our life revolves about the Eucharist, the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
But during this time, I suppose that Peter and the disciples and the other apostles are also probably also, well, they are of the same culture and background with those who left, probably in their mind is also the question, how could this be? How could this be? And precisely in this moment when Jesus asked them, kayo din, iwan din nyo ba ako? No? Are you also going to leave me? Yeah. And then Peter, the head of the apostle says, Master, where shall we go? Lord, sana man kami pupunta. No? You have the words of eternal life. We believe that you are the Holy One of God. Look at that. With the eyes of faith, in the whole of Jesus, they have accepted his words. Even in the beginning, they do not understand. Yun ang pananampalataya. Talagang hindi mo alam kung ano yung dulo, pero dahil sinabi ng Panginoon, naniniwala ka. That is really faith. No? At the end of reasoning, faith comes. Sabi nga, yung hindi mo na maintindihan, hindi mo na maipaliwanag ng pag-iisip mo, dyan papasok yung pananampalataya. Trust in the Lord and trust in His words. And so this is the power that gave the disciples to, to go, the apostles to go, who, those who remain, to go and proclaim the whole world. And uh, Peter, of course, is, as I've said, he was also in the center point in the first reading that we have from the Acts of the Apostles. He's already going out of um, Jerusalem, and we, were we heard no, that the church, all of Judea, Galilee, and Samaria were at peace, and more and more people were added to the flock by the power of the Holy Spirit. And Peter, also filled with the Holy Spirit, continued to speak for Jesus, to work the miracles for Jesus. No? Inuulit lamang niya yung ginawa ng Panginoon. So, God must really be in you for you to speak like Him, for you to preach like Him, for you to do miracles like Him. Ganun lang. And this is not only for Peter, but for all of us. So, in these places, He healed the sick. He even brought someone to life. No? Doing the very works of Jesus. This is our mission, my dear brothers and sisters. Yesterday, I emphasized the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus. After receiving that, we go out. We go out and do our mission of continue, uh, continuously proclaiming Jesus to the world, to the small words that we have in our homes, our workplaces, in the streets, through our words, and through the way we live our lives. You know? So the Eucharist and the mission, the faith and the good works, they should always go together, and that should be our life's project now until the end of our lives until we see one another in heaven no to be with jesus in this world is to be with jesus in heaven together with mother mary god the father the saints the angels ang gandang pakinggan ang gandang panoorin ang gandang pag-aralan no at isa buhay sa ating lahat amen Iniyahatid sa atin ni Kristo ang mga salitang nagbibigay ng buhay na walang hanggan at tayo ay sumasampalataya. Bunga ng pananampalatayang ito, may pagtitiwala tayong nagsusumamo sa ating Ama sa Langit na dinggin ang mga panalangin ng pamayanang ito. Ama, panatilihin mo kaming tapat sa iyong anak. Ama, panatilihin mo kaming tapat sa iyong anak. Ang mga pinuno ng simbahan na way sumunod sa Panginoon ng buong puso, isip at lakas, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, panatilihin mo kaming tapat sa iyong anak. Ang mga pinuno ng mga bansang nagdaranas ng kaguluhan na way walang patid na magsikap na makapaghatid ng kapayapaan at katarungan sa kanilang mga bansa, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, panatilihin mo kaming tapat sa iyong anak. Atin ang maunawaan na ibinibigay ng Diyos ang pinakadakilang katunayan ng kanyang pag-ibig sa nananatiling pas presensya ng banal na sakramento, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, panatilihin mo kaming tapat sa iyong anak. Ang mga may sakit at nagdurusa sa matagal ng karamdaman, naway magkaroon ng kapayapaan ng damdamin na dulot ng nagbibigay ginhawang mga salita ni Kristo, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, panatilihin mo kaming tapat sa iyong anak. Ang mga namayapa, naway magtamasa ng walang hanggang kapayapaan kay Kristo, 
Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Ama, panatilihin mo kaming tapat sa iyong anak. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang lahat ng mga pamisa ngayong araw na ito. Ganun din ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Ama, nasa iyong anak ang mga salita ng buhay. Wala kaming patutunguhan kundi sa Kanya. Iniaalay namin ang aming mga panalangin sa ngalan niya na nabubuhay at nagahari magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the mingling of this water and wine bring us to the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of joy. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord our God, the death of Jesus, your Son, was the price He had to pay for our freedom. In the signs of bread and wine, He gives Himself again to us, as our food and drink of life. In his strength, let us go his way to you and to people, as flesh and blood for others, with faith and hope in your kingdom that will stand forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, Every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, it will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. 
Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Christoph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Conrado, whom you have called three days ago from this world to yourself. Grant he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in the resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and with all your saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Putting all our praises and petitions into one, let us now pray to the Father in the words of Jesus. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Friends, brothers and sisters, the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. This peace of Jesus we offer to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the risen Lord, in our midst, in the humble form of bread and wine. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
communion antiphone. Father, I pray for them that they may be one in us so that the whole world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord our God, in response to your invitation of love, we have chosen you through our Godparents as the God of our lives. In the strength of this Eucharist, help us to renew day after day this commitment to you and to your kingdom. Let your Son build up with us a community of peace and service, and when it is slow in coming, reassure us that in you and in your own good time, the seed will bear fruit and grow forever. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating misa ngayong araw na ito. Brother Henry Dizon, thank you so much always for being with us. Brother Oji Perez, my prayer partner for today in the chaplet. Sister Arlette Biboso and husband Brother Boy for the first reading. And Sister Laura Evangelista and family for the prayers of the faithful. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong lahat. Gusto ko na ipaalala yung aming project, our campaign, fundraising campaign for our rice distribution program in the Philippines. There are already pledges coming in. Sana kayo din po. Sana kayo din po. Again, our way of saying, Lord, thank you. Thank you that we are not begging for food. And so let's show this gratitude to God by helping others who are looking for their food. Yeah, sa Evangelio natin, yeah, those who did not accept the Eucharist, they have their ancestors and those who turned away to Jesus. Who are your ancestors? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the good and loving Lord bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.